previously on Tribal Wars. Both tribes quickly realized they were at war. Kuvu laid down the gauntlet, winning reward. After a hard-fought battle, Nima won tug of war, sending Kuvu to Tribal Council. Kuvu was forced to cast votes in the favor of Nima, but in the end, they got a breakthrough. Which team will gain the upper hand tonight? Be careful not to slip, be alert not to slide. With this one might rock your mind. Challenge starts at 10 on the beach. <coughs> check the rice, check the rice. I'm checking the rice. <laughs> I'll check the other one. If we knew that we had an immunity token that up for grabs at our base, at our campsite. And then one of the kids shouted, that uh, was Josh I think, he shouted, he's like, guys come here. So we all like getting such a fry, we like, we jumped up, we ran. Okay, but what are we doing here? Eh? We are searching. <laughs> Josh, what about the water? They had this last year, didn't they? Yeah, they had this last year. Referencing from the old survivor and this survivor, we we saw that on the water thing, they didn't have like a, the survivor emblem. And then I saw there was like a wooden slat, um, the difference between a wooden slat, oh, the difference between both of them. Like and then there was paper. a black survivor logo nailed to it. And then I saw something white, I'm like, that's paper. Can I read it? Oh my word. Oh my word. Can you read it? Can you read it? <laughs> Congratulations, this is a clue to a hidden immunity token. If the tide is right, you might find the token in the reeds. Ah, uh, it's in the reeds, let's go. Um, is it low tide or high tide now? Watch out for snakes. Do you think it'd be tied onto a reed? I reckon it's underwater. In the reeds. But the is low tide. If the tide is right, you may find a token. If the tide is right, right as well, you might find a token in the reed. So we waited for low tide today to find the token, and me and Leighton headed down to the reeds um, by the river. Um, we went to the right first. We searched there, we went to the left in the reeds. We searched there. We went back to the right. And then we found a token tied to the reeds. Actually. I get it actually. Yeah, like that. No. Okay. Wait, okay. Black body. We got it. Black and one there. How far away was it? 
Dus doen we right pretty fun. Hallo, ons het een token gekregen. Good morning, Nima and Guvu. It's day three. Are you feeling it? How's it going over at Guvu? So, I think it's going pretty well. Um, it's definitely going better than the first few days. I mean, the, today we all woke up actually feeling energized okay. and that was not the case yesterday. So, okay. so I think today we're, we're doing really well. Okay, that's, yeah. that's good to hear, Guvu. Over at Nima, how's it going with you guys? We don't have the fishing stuff, but we still um, we have lots of rice from the first night, and we're definitely doing better than the first night as well. We've made our campsites pretty pretty good now; it's pretty well set up, and we had a nice sleep last night, so we're feeling good. So you guys are ready to get to today's challenge? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, but first, we are playing for reward. Would you like to know what you're playing for? Yes, sir. Winning team today walks away with some home comfort. Oh! We've got blankets, cushions, and you're gonna have some hot chocolate and marshmallows. Yeah. With playing for. Kuvu, you've got one extra player who's sitting out. All right, is it Samuel? Yeah. All right, Samuel, take a spot on the bench. So for today's challenge, one player from each team will run and slide down this slide. All the way into the water is a series of tiles. You need to remember it at the table. You have to reorder the tiles to be exactly the same as on the podium. The player that gets it right wins a point for the team. First team to five wins. All right, let's get it on. So for the first round, we're going to go two boys against each other. Who's coming? Hayden, Ian. All right, take your spots. Okay, full reward. Survivors ready? Go! All right, there we go. It's a slip and slide, people. Hayden not attempting even the slide. He's just going into the water. You need to go around that buoy. Yeah, now, opening up. Back comes Hayden for this. He's in front. Ian's got some catching up to do. Hayden for Nima, first back at the pedestal. He thinks he's got it. He has! Nima, one, Guvu, zip! Next round, we're gonna go the girls, one of each. Who's it gonna be? All right, Nina for Guvu, Anastasia for Nima. Survivors ready? Go! All right, Anastasia quickly on the slide. Nina as well. Anastasia with a big dive. Nina right behind him. This is for reward. Anastasia having a look. She needs to go around. Nina also have a look. All right. Anastasia back first. Can she remember the phrase? Can she remember the puzzle? She thinks she has it. She does! Nima! Two! Zip! Next round, it's again the boys. Alright, Leighton, Nima. DM, alright. Alright, survivors ready? Go! Alright, it's a big gun. Big slide in. Brilliant run. Leighton in front. Now he's got to get that. Coming back, a big swim by Leighton. All right. All right, both at the same time, back to the board. All right, let me see. You don't. Kuvu, you've got it. Kuvu, one, Nima, two, we're playing for round four. Nima, who are you putting up, lady? Caitlin, Caitlin, great for Caitlin. Kuvu, 
Naverne. Naverne and Caitlin going head to head. Survivors, ready? Go! All right. Whoa, whoa, big fall by Naverne. Good to get up. Now into the water. All right, in goes Naverne for Guvu and Caitlin for Nima. They've got to go around that. Yeah, pick a side. All right, they're taking a long time. Eventually, they think they've got it. Do they? The Vern's going to be at the task first. The Vern thinks she has it. She does. Two, two. Okay, so for round number five, we're back with the boys. Guvu. Michael, that's it. Ethan against Michael. Survivors, ready? Go! Michael, she's running. They both get there at the same time. Michael looking. Ethan still having to go around it. All the tension, no blocks. Now they're swimming back out. They head to head at this stage. It's anybody's game. Here they come. All right, Ethan first back to the board. All right, he called it first. Let's check. White, orange, white. You got wrong. You've got it wrong as well. You can't do that. You have to swim back. This game is tiring both of these boys out. They're exactly on board. Who's going to call first? Pushing, push, guys. This is survivors. You've got to keep in it. All right, call it first. They do. Lima, three. All right, so we're at round number six. We're going with the girls. Who's it going to be? Shay, Lillian, all right. Survivors ready, go. All right, here goes Lillian and Shay. Having to run in now. Shay gets to the buoy first. Quick glance from Shay, she thinks she's got it. Swimming back, here comes Shay. She's walking. This is survivor people. You need to run it out. Shay's got it. Yeah. Three, three. We are at round seven and the scores are equal. Three, three. Back to the boys. Guvu, who are you sitting out? Jaden. Nima. Marco. All right, here we go, the two big guns. Survivors ready? Go! All right, big slide in with both boys. Marco first on his feet. Now swimming out. Jaden at the, at the pedestal first, checking, double checking. Marco taking his time, observing. Here they come, the two big guys. Marco for Nima. Jaden slips, but can he get this? All right, you've called it. Zubu wins. Four, three. So it's round eight now. Scores four for Ngubu, three for Nima. It's the ladies' turn. Who are you setting up? Shay. Anastasia for Nima. Let's go. Survivors ready? Go! Good slide in. Anastasia. All right, Anastasia first in the water. This time there's six tiles. 
a lot to think about. Here comes Anastasia. First onto the beach. They can draw it right here. This can be for the draw. Nima, let's see. Anastasia takes it. Four, four. This is going to be the final round and I'll allow you to put any play in, boy or girl. Nima, who are you sending out? Anastasia's going again. Gubu. Leighton's taking it on for Gubu. Boys against the girls. Survivors, ready? Go! All right. Leighton up first into the water for Gubu. This is a seven block challenge. They will remain, have to remember. Anastasia not even stopping. She's just swimming all the way around. This is going to be the greatest performance in Survivor Tribal Wars history. She's a third round now. Back to back. All right, Nathan's given up. He's not even trying. All right, let's see. One mistake. You have to run back, you have to run back. Anastasia having to go back. Missed one tile there. Now can they get this? Anastasia grinding this one out for Nima. That's right, Nima wins reward. Okay, congratulations Nima, excellent effort by both of your teams, but you guys just outplaying Nguvu. Anastasia, remarkable effort. How are you feeling at the moment? <laughs> I feel like I can't breathe and I can't <laughs> walk either. But you know, it was hard, eh? Especially after like I just went on one, I had to go again twice. I didn't think I was going to have to run twice. But anyways, yeah, it was cool. It was really nice to get that, finally. Well, congratulations. I think you can come and get your, uh, get someone, Ethan, come and help yeah. her carry your reward for tonight. I'll give you the cappuccinos. Thanks. You can take the blankets. More than enough to keep you warm. Some pillows. <laughs> yeah. All right, just load it on. It's here from Google. How are you guys feeling? You lost the challenge, but, but we you're still want smiling. something in return. So, uh, All right, yeah. what's that? We will open it right now. Okay, so where did you spot that? It was on the pool, um, on the where the tiles are laying. It was on the pool hanging there. I don't know how anybody didn't see it. Okay, so it might be something or nothing, right? Yeah. There's a game beyond the game. And the question is, are you playing it or not? Head back to camp. Guys, look what we found. Um, let's unwrap and see what it is. Probably a clue. It's probably a clue. It's a token. Oh, oh. oh. Yeah. Wait, wait. That that means that if we've got now two yeah. and they've got one, we're winning. Yeah. 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 Oh yes. There we are. Cool, the first time around, I didn't notice it at all, and then Mr. Kane said something about you allowed to touch it, but you're not allowed to like push it over or something. And that made me think, okay, maybe there's something more to this game. And then the second time around, I saw it and then my mind went straight to it. And then I bumped the tiles off. And unfortunately, we lost the rewards, but we gained something more um, out of it. It's a bit hard, but it tastes fine. 
Voll. Ich kann das im Arsch machen, das ist ein Bank. Smart ja. Guy. Ja, das geht nicht. Also, das ist drei. No. Wir machen ein Auto ab von uns. So, wir haben zwei. Oh, das ist vier, sorry. Take one. Three. Take one. I don't know. Wait, that's four. Was hat er gemacht? Jo. Okay, komm, was sonst zu? Das Marshmallow das ist, das ist amazing. Ja. And that whole entire day we were looking, all of us, we were looking in the reeds because it's it somewhere it's going to be by the water. So we were looking in the reeds, we were swimming the whole time with the reeds and everything. And I was like, guys, we need to look for this, okay? We need to like get ahead, get the tokens and everything. So we were all looking, I was like, okay, I'm done with this water stuff. So I started like chopping the reeds in the, uh, on the land here, like down there. It'd be very scary because it's like snakes and everything. But anyways, I was chopping these reeds and I was like looking and I was like, none of us were like giving up. And then like I looked down and I see this little brown thing. I was like, please, please get that be the idol. And then I've got it and I was like screaming and jumping. <gasps> I found it! I found it! Oh my goodness, Marcel, I needed this so badly. Oh my goodness, Marcel, I needed this so badly. Did you nice. get it? Yeah, I found it. Nice. You no. found it. Yeah. Yes! Oh my God. Yes! 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 Yes!
All right, Nima, you guys, you were in front, but you've lost that lead. Six. It's six! Hayden all the time had six in his hand without realizing it. Nima's just wasted precious time not counting their strings. They've got their six pieces. Are they ready to throw it? Who's your thrower? Michael. Michael, come on, get in here. All right. Liam is ready to throw. Oh, on his first throw! He hits it! Nima's back in it! Michael under pressure now! Who's taking over from him? We need someone else here! Nima, tremendous effort on the first throw. Liam lands that. Anastasia, this is for immunity. Three balls. Anastasia, first attempt here. And she misses, she has to collect it, you have to collect it first. Joshua wanting to help but Anastasia asking for one more chance. She's taking her time on this run. So close to that end. And he drops, that's one. Two to go. Come on, Guvu. So close, you can come back and hook it. Here's a second ball for two. For Nima, one more. This is for immunity. Guvu's blow out here with the grapple. One more ball. Oh, and she misses. You guys are back in with a chance. Again, short for Guvu. Here comes Anastasia. Will this be the last chance Guvu has to get back into this? Now Ian is throwing. Nima wins immunity! Liam, what a throw. We've got to start there. Amazing throw. First throw, you hit the target. Nominates myself to throw. No, I can throw. Didn't know I could do that the first try. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that brought you guys completely back into this game. Great work on Anastasia right at the end yeah. there. You guys landed today's immunity challenge. And so for that, you get your next token. Yeah, you're the guy to get it. And put it up on the board for us, please. Yeah. Right here, good job. Nima, you're on three. Kuvu, you're still in it, you're on two. I've seen greater comebacks in the past and I think you guys are absolutely ready. But unfortunately, you have a date tonight with me at Tribal Council where you guys will have to vote for one of the players on Nima who you think was the player of the day. Take your time to think about it, it's an important decision. All right, head on out. Okay, welcome to your second Tribal Council. You're on a run. It's not a good one. And so here we are tonight. What's the sense in the tribe at the moment? Michael. Yeah, sir, I can, sir, I can speak for everybody. I feel devastated, sir. I feel like we put in a lot of effort, but yeah, the outcome is not what we expected. Yeah. I think we really, we did give it our all this time, yeah. but with Liam's throw, so uh, we were knocked out of the yeah. park. So I think we were hoping to win. But it's okay, they're only one point ahead. We've still, mm. we've still got a chance. So you're saying even though it's tough and you've lost out today, you're not without hope? No, sir. I, I think after our last Tribal Council, we really woke up mm -hmm. and we began looking for um, the tokens. We began following our clues. We began to think more strategically and it paid off. Mm -hmm. We haven't won an immunity challenge yet, but we're only one point behind. So I think we are, doing, we are starting to outwit them. Okay, so last night there was actually a bit of a turn of momentum, if I heard correctly, you guys 
realized what the advantage is. Uh, yes, sir. Just quickly share that. Who, who actually got to that moment and said, yes, this is it. This is what, what we need to do. It was really just the, everybody sitting there and repeating what Sir said. It's not on Sam's shoulders. And then a couple of us just went back. Yes. And then, then I went, ripped open the bag and there it was. And then Lathan and Jaden took it from there and opened the symbol, we followed the clues, we thought about it and we found it this morning. What is it in this tribe that gives you momentum, that helps you tick, that helps you move this game forward? I think for our tribe we stand easily together. We talk it through and even before we start the game we talk through and everybody is in the same mindset as everybody else. If I might ask who is the leader of this tribe at the moment? Is, is there a common sense of a leader or not? Mm. There's different giftings in this tribe. I know a lot of you. There's two engineering, three engineering students sitting right there. There's no reason for you guys not to be the practical ones solving certain parts. And there's others here that's got the intellect to do the puzzles. I think we all understand that there's more to this game than just playing tribal wars, right? Yeah. We here because we want to see you become the future leaders of South Africa and cities and towns and nations, okay? So there's bigger life lessons woven into this game and part of that is Redemption Forest. Let's see here, who's been to Redemption Forest? So I have to be very honest, I read the scripture, I really enjoyed the alone time, the absolute quiet, because I'm someone who just enjoys the quiet. But I was so tired that like halfway through or like 20 minutes in, I just fell over asleep. And I woke up and I think I slept at half an hour over the time <laughs> limit. <laughs> Sarah, let's hear How was your experience? So, I definitely did not walk into our redemption forest. I went and sat in Nima's redemption forest thinking that this was planned. So Liam and I did redemption forest together, but the spiders... So, there was prickly pears above our head that kept on falling. That was so scary. I think you're... you're. <laughs> Listen, so four of you went and only three of you actually went to redeem the <laughs> forest. Yeah. Well, that's supposed to be your lone time. I didn't realize until afterwards that I went to the wrong one. You also <laughs> got the wrong one. Yeah. Were you alone at least? Yes. I heard the people walk past and thought this was a bit suspiciously close to their camp. <laughs> Listen, this is uh, special. So, two of you actually got to the right camp. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about the life lessons then that you have learned. Who would like to just share something over the last two or three days that, that stuck with you, that, that's helping you to think differently about life? One thing I definitely learned is appreciate the food you have at home. And we farmed potatoes at this point. That's how desperate we are. We find moldy potatoes in the ground outside. I've learned that I should eat my mother's food at night because now I'm missing her food a lot. So, <laughs> and, yeah, so, and appreciating when she cooks her. I'm sure your mother watching this will be very happy to hear that. The big thing that I've learned, yes, I've learned how to appreciate food, comforts of life, um, have a greater appreciation, do more effort for these things. But the really big thing that I've personally learned and that I've prayed about, while we suffer, it, um, we can choose to focus on the physical sufferings. We can complain. Yeah, there is a space for that, trying to get it all out. But a big part of it is also surrendering it to God. Because there is a reason why He says, give me your burdens and I will take them. This experience is as close as you can get to the real survivor. Is that, that true? Yeah, I think it is true because we literally have nothing, no comfort, barely any food except the potatoes and the fish that we're finding, other than the rice. So yeah, I think it's very close to the real survivor. Has it been for you also a good experience? Yeah, I think it has been. Like, I'm enjoying it. Obviously, I miss what I had before, but I'm really enjoying it. It's good. It looks like it. <laughs> So I think I've definitely learned the value of your attitude towards things and how you approach things, how different your outcome is. Like for the first two days, I must say, I lost hope and I lost motivation and I was like, 
you know what guys this is I can't wait to go home you know that that mindset and after Redemption Forest there was just something that changed in me from that moment I was just in a better mindset and I was like you know what we're here to play the game we're here to win this is our moment to fight fight harder than Nima because this is what we came here for so I think definitely the shift in um, attitude towards things makes such a big difference here. Like the little things in general like when just conversations with people swimming in the river it just like starts to get more like make you much more happy because you don't have anything else so that becomes your like space where you can just be comfortable and yeah and rely on more on people you can you can rely on people and you can you shouldn't be scared you know i think something that sarah said i just want to pick up with we are two nights away from finishing this game and you guys are in a very important place you're just behind but you've got everything to gain. Embrace the moment where you are tonight mm -hmm. and you will make it through to the end. I guarantee that. So with that, it's time to vote for the player of the day. Jaden, you're up. I'm going to tell you the votes. As custom, I won't be reading these votes right now. We'll leave that for the final morning. But there is something that happened tonight that provided some spark to you as a team. What's that? You know something, when you said we must play the game properly. Yeah. So I looked at the lantern, that thing, the, that thing that we had to put it in. So, I looked underneath, I, I tried to move it a bit and to see if like any hints or anything and I saw a piece of paper sticking out but I don't want to grab it, I don't know why, I got cold feet and I came back and then I gave Ian the, the message that I got here. I lifted um, the pot and I looked where Michael told me, right there was a piece of paper with a little rope around it, I've actually got it in my pocket. Now we have something, I don't know if it's an right. advantage, clue, whatever it is, it's going to give us a chance to tie. Okay, however this plays out, I wish you all the best for tomorrow's two challenges here. Have a good night's rest. Head on out. Next time on Tribal Wars.